Yeah, I thought uh, that defense, you know, deserves a ton of credit. What they've done all year, and um, the first time we played them wasn't easy, and, and this time wasn't easy at all either. And, and it kind of um, took until then to kind of break the game open in a way. And um, they're stingy, man. They're really stingy, and, and we started to be able to move the ball there a little bit in the fourth quarter. And, and that final dri touchdown drive there was was big. Three and a half hours, probably not appropriate enough time to reflect, but three years you guys have gone from one of the worst records in the NFL to one win away from the Super Bowl. Can yeah. You just get some thoughts on. How you were able to accomplish this? Oh, that would be hard to do in this setting. Um, but I think it's it's a credit to all the guys in there. Um, we've said this a million times about how the, it's the same group. It's not like we've you know added a ton. It's a lot of the same guys, and 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 Brad and Dan have been very intentional about bringing in those type of guys who can who can handle moments like today and moments like last week and and ups and downs of a season. And um, I think it's all been intentionally done by them. And um, we're not here by accident. You kind of had an inverse game plan today in setting you know, the pass, setting up the run. Yeah. Just wondering, I mean, that's, that's your bread and butter, right? You set up the run, yep. set up the play action. How difficult is it to, to come out throwing against a defense that brings pressure like they do? Yeah, we kind of had planned to do that. Um, because of what they present up front at times in the run game. And so we knew we had to try to get after him in the pass game. And um, I knew Ben would be aggressive. And uh, yeah, I was ready for it. I thought early on it was uh, it was difficult and they were doing a good job. But we, we settled in nicely as the game went on. So when you're in your victory formation, do you give yourself a chance at all to kind of soak up the atmosphere and, and feel it for a moment? Yeah, I did. I did. I enjoyed it. And um, knew it would be our last one in front of our home fans this year and um, took it all in. And uh, those guys are. Uh, you know, mean a lot to us as a team, and and we're we're really impressed with it today. Well, so it looked like Frank hit the game ball. He ran out. He ran out right in front of you, or at least had one of them. Uh, just the old line that you have, the yeah. that they have, and for him to be celebrated just as much as you as you yeah. ran out. Can you just explain what that would mean to you? Yeah, he should be. He should be. He's fought through a whole hell of a lot that um, a lot of people don't even know what he's fought through um, physically, and and uh, yeah, to get himself here, and and yeah, not just him, but Taylor, obviously Jonah. Um, unfortunate to miss him, but I thought Yodi stepped in great. Graham's played really well, and, and so has Panay, obviously. And so, yeah, it's it's been a, such a great group, and we've relied on them all year. And um, I'm certainly, uh, you know, telling myself how lucky I am to play behind them every week. Yeah, it's huge. Um, yeah, it was huge. I can't remember how many times we threw it to him, but the run certainly. That's one of the top red zone defenses in the league. So anytime you can score outside the red zone, it uh, makes your drive a whole lot easier. And, and he. Uh, just took it in there from, I don't know, maybe 30. I'm not sure how far out that was, but um, it was a great run. You were relying on people, you know, credit, Sparkly credit, Frank and such, but when people like Craig Reynolds, when you can yeah. find him, when Derek Barnes and Seals, the yep. that guy who wants to start, what does, it, what does it mean to you guys as players, as a team, to be able to know that you rely on people who aren't necessarily Sure. Yeah, I think it kind of goes back to kind of what I was saying of, of everyone's brought in here for a reason. And, you know, Barnes and Craig are a perfect example of guys that haven't had the necessarily flash plays all year, but, you know, they've been kind of waiting in the weeds for their chance and and practice hard and do everything right and, and show up on time and do and continue to do everything right for, for moments like that. And um, happy for those guys, man. They deserve it just as much as anyone else and, and it played well. Do you reflect like on how much time off the line gave you much of the day to, you know, throw? Yeah, they did a great job. That's a, that's a really good D-line. Um, Vita Bay is as good as it gets in the middle there, and um, those edge rushers are no joke either. So, yeah, our, our line uh, protected me well and uh, made it pretty easy for me. Can you comment on that, the Jared Goff chant, which is apparently on a regular basis yeah. now? What does, that, does that mean to you, especially the second week around? Last week, we were doing a thing with Matthew, because now it just seems to be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's awesome. It really is cool for me. and. Um, I said it last week. I said, you know, something I'll probably never experience again, and I, you know, kind of experienced it again today. So, um, yeah, th those fans are um, special, near and dear to my heart, and um, mean a ton to me. The support, and um, not just for me though, but for our whole team, and, and yeah, experiencing that is cool. Along those lines, what does it mean for you just personally to get back to the championship game, Jerry? Yeah. Have one game away from another Super Bowl chance. Yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. Uh, we we joked after the game. Ironically, the last time. You know, a lot of us played in it was against each other. It was me, you know, at the Rams against Dan with the Saints. Anzalone was there. Aaron Glenn was there. Um, yeah, so it's exciting, it, and not just for me, but for our whole team. And um, it's it's a, something that we've, you know, you know, it's not. I don't want to say like this arrogantly, but we expected to win the first game. We expected to win this game, and and now we get to go to a game we expected to be in against a really good team at their place. And 
um, we're going to come into it expecting to win. It'll be a tough game, but um, it'll be fun. Jared, one thing uh, Coach Campbell was asked about was how today's the three-year anniversary of his introductory press conference. Mm. And I know that the job is not finished in your eyes, but three years later, for you guys to be in this position, when a lot of people have doubts about your head coach, about you, about this team, yeah. how does this moment feel? Oh, man, uh, it feels pretty good. Um, Dan's the greatest leader I've been around and, and has cultivated this culture we have and um, our belief in each other pretty significantly. And um, yeah, you think about the dark times there early on in 2021, a lot of people calling for his head, a lot of people in this room calling for his head. Um, and you know, it's it's pretty good to be able to sit up here and be able to play in the NFC Championship. And um, yeah, it's it feels good. You, a couple more guys. We're in Catholic, what would you say? Sorry? We're in Catholic. Yep. Kind of now, what's it like for you chasing an NFC championship? Yeah, it's awesome. I went to, that's what was my high school. So, yeah, uh, you know, I guess maybe you're asking about going back to the Bay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your whole question. But Since it kind of started all there for you, leading them to a sexual and, and uh, you know. Yes, yeah, sorry. I got you. Yeah, um, it, it's nice to go back there in front of my friends and family and um, in front of a lot of my loved ones and, Playing a place I've played a bunch of times, and, and I know this team's really, really good, so it's going to be a challenge. But um, yeah, it'll be fun for me personally to go back there, but it's it's about our team and, and getting the W. One more on the, the, press Campbell. Address, the, the, the Campbell introductory press conference. You obviously weren't thinking about being here, you, you know, weren't yeah. in the picture yet. Where, as, a, as a guy that wasn't expected to be here, did you I mean, catch much of that? Was it a talk with, with players at all? No, I actually didn't. I didn't, I didn't know about it until I got here, yeah. but yeah. I did. I'll, I'll finish with this too, and I didn't get the answer to say it, but um, I want to give a lot of credit to Aaron Glenn tonight. And I know you guys didn't ask me about our defense, but our defense played their tails off, and he deserves a ton of credit for what he's done these last handful of weeks. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you.